So the question comes up, what's the difference between a PFQ and a PFP? Well, there's several uh, differences that you'll see. The one on the right, that is my right, is a PFP. If you notice, the bezels are different. The bezel on the uh, PFP is what we call a bayonet bezel. The bayonet bezel can be removed. That allows for recalibration, repair of the gauge. Also, you'll notice that if this was an all stainless steel version, it will in the future be welded. But you notice the PFP has a socket that's uh, laser welded to the case. That's important because unfortunately, when people install gauges, though they should always use a wrench on the flat when they install it, some people forget the wrench and they use their hands. Well, if this wasn't welded, that would create a lot of torque. It can bend the dial, pop the pointer off. But because the socket is welded to the case, it eliminates a leak point. It's a one-piece socket. And now if someone does use the gauge case to install it, there are less chance of damaging the gauge by doing that. Because remember, MPT threads are a, fr a friction thread, pipe thread. So you have to tighten it down till it finally binds so that it will not leak anymore. So if we look at a four inch PFP, then you'll see a significant difference because here's the PFQ and the PFP. If you look at them side by side, you can see just the heftiness of the PFP is much greater. It uses a full size movement and board on tube. The accuracy of the PFP is 1% full scale the accuracy of the PFQ is 1.5% full scale. So there's definitely a difference. If you have a process that's seeing a lot of pulsation, vibration, aggressive media, the PFP would probably be the better choice because it's built to stand up to that rigorous uh, application that you're going to see either in the upstream or the downstream processing market. This also shows you that the PFP comes standard on the four inch with what we call a blowout back. That's important because even though it's not what we call a safety case, it does have the ability that if the board on tube was to fail, and I cut my fingernail so you can edit that out. <laughs> if the board on tube was to fail, this plug would blow out the back Thus, the operator would be protected. If he was standing in front of it, the plug blows out the back, thus provides that safety relief out the back and not coming towards the operator. Another feature of the PFP is that it has a ventable plug. We talked uh, about PFQs before, and they will have it also, but to vent this gauge, you just take the plunger and you pull it up. There it goes. So when you pull it up, now it's vented. So it's going to let any entrapped air out. Once you're done venting it, because especially if you have some pulsation going on and it's shaking, you don't want the liquid to migrate out. Once it's vented, you can push it back down. It's easy to tell if a winter's gauge is vented or not, because if the plunger is up, it's in a vent position. If it's pushed down, it's closed. Some of our competitors have a lever the problem is you have to go physically look at the top of that gauge to see if it says open or close. So that's an advantage of the Winters product. So again, the PFP definitely is a step up from the PFQ. It's generally all stainless steel, heavy duty, and again, the socket is always welded to the case.